from um, his executive director of USCW 1994, McGeo. Bob, thank you so much for being here. Very much. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be first, team. Uh, hold the mic up. Hold the mic up. All right. Um, this uh, this council is interesting. Um, their definition of courage is uh, is unique. Um, when uh, over the last few years, this uh, budget and the county and the economic situation has been hard on everybody. But uh, when cutting social services uh, that affect disproportionately women and disproportionately also women of color, um, when cutting social services, uh, they're defined as being courageous. Uh, when cutting the library budget uh, in two years by 30%, um, they're lauded by the Washington Post, et cetera, as uh, making hard choices. When it comes to their own employees and cutting, not shifting, I mean, not cutting costs, but shifting costs in health care and retirement, uh, they're lauded for making those difficult, bold, courageous choices. Um, there's not one of these council members that don't intuitively understand the connection between an outsized, bloated, distorted defense budget and 10 years in Afghanistan and a phony war in Iraq and how that budget distorts social spending and infrastructure spending right here at home. Yet that courage, boldness, difficult choices uh, vanishes. Vanishes in a heartbeat. With just one call of a multi-billion dollar defense contractor calling off a resolution that really had nothing but moral weight and political power behind it. And we've seen, just within the last year, whether it's in Tahrir Square in Egypt, whether it's beginning, hopefully, here in this country, in the Occupy Wall Street movement, political power and political positions and statements made at a local level, that's where grassroots power starts. It very seldom starts at the top. Very seldom. It starts at the grassroots level and as in Egypt and throughout the Middle East and here in New York City and Occupy Wall Street, it's fortunately led substantially in the beginning by the young. Those who intuitively know and understand those connections and have the power of their conviction to act on it. Ahead of, unfortunately, political leadership that either never had the courage or once had it but lost it. So, we stand today uh, in support of a council that should be standing up, but is failing to do so. And they should be leading this just like others in the country and around the world are doing. Thank you.